Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please go ahead and smash that subscription button. Tap on that notification bell to be notified for further content uploads. Leave me a like. Uh, drop a comment below. Please take five seconds to drop a comment. I uh, really appreciate that, even if it's just emoji. Uh, and also, if you'd like to donate some coffee to the cause, down around here, there's a button. You can hit the Super Thanks button and donate some coffee to the cause. Uh, we had a question on our YouTube channel that uh, was asking about poly surfaces and uh, NURB surfaces and why when she uh, or he uh, does the uh, profile sweep, sometimes you get NURB surfaces, sometimes you get poly surface. So let's talk about what is a NURB surface. A NURB surface is a single surface. So uh, meaning it's just one surface right so let's let's take that turn it to yellow here uh and then let's just uh, duplicate it by holding down alt dragging it out and i'll just do a simple loft right from here to here and then we'll do the loft and there's several ways that we can check to see whether it's a nerve surface or a poly surface uh, first easiest way to do is just go to points and i can turn on points on this surface you can see all the points there right if it's a poly surface uh it, you will not be able to turn on points so let's uh, take this curve again and let's hold down alt and i'll draw another one down right and we'll just do another loft from uh, that curve there to this curve, right? And when you lay it out originally, uh, you can turn on points because it's a single surface. But once we take these uh, two surfaces and join them together, yeah, you cannot turn on points anymore. And it'll tell you, you cannot turn on points on a poly surface. So right there, you can get a very quick idea of what kind of surface it is by just trying to turn on points. But it's there's other surfaces too that, uh, um, you you i'll explain that later hopefully <laughs> all right uh so you can't turn on points right but there's ways that we can go move around that to make it into a nerve surface so and that's what we're going to talk about so uh if this is something that interests you then please stick around if it's uh something you already know uh you, you really don't have to stick around for the video kind of a beginner intermediate early intermediate si series uh, so let's get going on this. So why do some profiles give us a nerve surface? Why do some? Because a, pro, a nerve surface is a single surface, one surface. Uh, and a poly surface is multiple surfaces added together to get one closed surface. So if we add point, uh, a profile, certain profiles, and the easiest way to tell which ones are going to give you nerves and which ones are going to give you... Uh, poly surfaces are if they have kinks. Okay, here's one that's just an oval, right? So if I do uh, auto sweep on it, except that I can easily go and turn on points so we know it's a nerve surface, right? Uh, if you can turn on points again, it's a nerve surface. If you can't, then it's probably a poly surface. <clears throat> But uh, also, there's another way to check. You can type in uh, what, W-H-A-T, on pretty much anything that you want to find out information about. Uh, hit enter, select the item that you want to know what it is, and then a click, right click on it, and it'll tell you it's a uh, nerve surface right here. Valid surface, closed surface, nerves, right? And it'll give you a bunch of other information as well that you can uh, use in we'll go into more advanced uh, level right but let's uh, get rid of these profiles let's select one that's going to give us a, a poly surface right and how can we change it to a nerve surface uh and there's certain things you have to be aware of uh to do this so let's pick something that like this one here okay and we we can see right off the bat that it has uh sharp edges right so if i do a sweep on this one and i accept it and i go to try and turn on points i can't turn on points because cannot turn on points on your poly surface right down here it'll tell you right but we really want this a poly surface because we want to do some detailed work on it or whatever right uh, and this comes in handy when you're drawing uh you know with this it's kind of easy to do there's several ways we can get the poly uh, nerve surface right uh, first way uh 
easiest well, maybe easiest way is just to go to your curve and before you uh sweep it just go ahead and fillet it uh so go down to your fillet edges clean up and then uh, just select on your uh fillet and then make those rounded and now when i do a sweep on that the only thing is is when i do that i lose my parametric history over here right and you're going to lose it anyway when you try to change it to a, a, a poly surface to a nerve surface but we can uh, go to uh, surface sweep one here here sweep accept it click on it go to points and we can turn on points right because we changed that curve so that it doesn't have any uh, knots or anything no sharp edges right uh, so that's one way all right so let's go back uh, get rid of those points, get rid of that fillet. So it's back to a poly surface, right? All right, so let's do the sweep again. Uh, and we'll accept that and try to turn on points. We can't, it's a poly surface. I'm, you're bumming, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, no reason to bum. You can still uh, get it uh, exactly uh, like this in a uh, uh, NURB surf or a, yeah, NURB surface, right? Uh, first thing you have to do is uh, explode it. If you don't explode it, and you, we want to go to the merge command, right? So we hit merge. You can't click on a poly surface. You can only select NURB surfaces. So if you come across this issue, make sure it's exploded. So the first thing we'll do is take it and explode it. We'll nuke it. So now we have multiple surfaces out here, uh, which is a poly surface. But each one is a NURB surface. So you could turn on points each one right uh and then try to manipulate it but it's very difficult you know if you're just doing manipulation down here it, it's probably fine but even that eh, it's not dragging it off uh uh can be problematic uh so if, but if you like select here we have multiple points we have a point for this surface and a point for that surface right so we just forget and we only select one of them and move it we're separating those surfaces oh let's go back usually uh, okay select that one surface point move it oh it's yeah it's selecting the one but it's not selecting that other one, right? And that'll create all kinds of issues for you. And you'll have to do a lot of extra work on, down the line. So we want to resolve that issue. We only want to be able to pick one of those points and move it up, not have to worry about trying to grab them and all, you know, it's just uh, a pain in the butt. So let's uh, go back. All right, so how do we do that? Uh, and that's the that's the merge command, okay? So we can go in here to our edit tools and merge two surfaces, NURB surfaces together, right? Uh, so select, before I do that, let's go back and explain one more thing uh, because this is kind of important too. I'm gonna take all that, join it back together. So now we're back to a, a poly surface, right? Uh, say we wanted to fillet this edge, right? So we would go to uh, fill it, and then we would just click on those two, and it would give us our fill it. We can adjust it or whatever. But the problem here, when if you do something like this, is uh, you want to make a, a nerve surface out of it. You can do it with the parts that you didn't trim. Okay, so you would explode it, right? And you, you want to go to merge and try to merge two surfaces together. So this one and this one, right? Uh, edges are too far apart. Uh, it's because this surface is trimmed. Uh, this is probably fine. Yeah, that's that's a NURB surface, but this one is a trimmed NURB surface. And how do I know if I type in what? Uh, and go, I can see it says trim surface, NURB surface. And you cannot merge trim surfaces and other NURB uh, surfaces together. They won't let you. But you could join them together if that's what you wanted, and it's still going to be fine. But you can't have more manipulation on it. So let's go back to explode. Well, let's just go back. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back to where we're... Back to our poly sur our NURB surfaces, right? And we want to uh, first 
let's say, first example, let's say we want to keep that sharp edge for some reason or whatever. Uh, we don't want to, lose, but we want to make these two surfaces join together and keep that sharp edge, right? So we can go to our uh, edit tools, go to merge, uh, and down here in our command line, select a pair of surfaces to merge, right? You can have smooth yes or no. So let's go ahead and select no. We don't want it smooth. We want it sharp. We want to keep that edge. So we'll select this surface and this surface, right? And now we select that surface. You can see that they both highlight, right? This side here and this side here. They're both highlighting. We can turn on points. And now we can select just that one point and move it around and not have to worry about trying to grab both those points, right? Uh, so that's one way, all right? Let's go back. Let's uh, explode that so it's not merged together. So you can just go to your command line, hit smooth no, and it'll join those kinks or that not that sharp edge and keep it separate and make it one surface. But say we want a uh, fillet on it, but we want to make sure that we can still manipulate it with points. So what we can do is go to our edit tools, go to merge down here. We want smooth to yes. And then also we can change the degree of that fillet right here with roundness by clicking on it we can change it from a one well let's keep it at a one for right now uh, i'll just put it back to a one and then we can select our surface select our surface but may oh that's a little too much i i don't want it that uh, rounded right so we can just go back right click and then down here say we can click in here and go to a point three and hit enter and now when i click those surfaces it gives us a smaller fillet and you can uh keep playing around with that to get it you can go a point oh one uh and hit enter and then select those surface and it'll just give you a little small and you can still turn on points on all those surfaces and be able to ma manipulate just that one point uh to be able to uh do your editing or whatever you want to do with it, right? But the last thing you have to remember though, is you still have all these. So you have to do that merge with the entire, all those surfaces together, right? So let's go down here, go to our merge here. Let's just say we want a, it all straight edged, right? Uh, and we'll select this surface, this surface, and it keeps that straight edge for us and right click select this surface this surface now all these uh one two three and four across the top and then we have to do this last one over here on this side right so right click here and then here and now everything is all highlighted and we can go and turn on points to manipulate our surface right so uh hopefully that kind of uh gives you a little hint on how to do things like that and keep your shape or whatever or alter add a uh, fillet on it but keep it in a nerves air, uh, way that for manipulation or whatever uh just remember to do them all uh and if you know it will give you a, it says open poly surface let's see yeah let's check that out here uh, analyze show edges Okay, so naked edges, no big deal. Just go to your naked edge, uh, join two edges together. It's just that one it looks like. Yeah, two right there. That one, select, that one, select, okay. And then hit enter, and now we have a closed poly surface. You're good to go. Uh, it should not affect your uh, points. You can still turn on points from it if that happens to you. Uh, so uh, hopefully, that helps. Uh, if it does, please go ahead, hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching. Good designing.